Hey Lunar Souls, this is a timeless tarot session for any and all signs. As I'm recording, uh, the Mercury retrograde is conjuncting um, the sun today, so I definitely do want to uh, and intend to illuminate that energy for us, the, that um, the effects of that meetup mercury retrograde energy and really like um with the daughter of swords coming through upright here an echo of a message that's been coming through for me a lot this mercury retrograde um the The effects, the effects of Mercury retrograde that are actually very beneficial, um, maybe tricky still, but noticeably beneficial. So we are going to start out with the Seven of Pentacles and the Mother of Swords from the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Krantz. Information about this deck and all the decks that I use uh, can be found down below in the description. Um, and I wanted to say that while I do intend to illuminate the energy and effects of um, Mercury retrograde uh, conjuncting the sun today, first of all, whatever comes through comes through though. Um, and also, this is a timeless reading. So, um, of course, you may connect with, with it at any time for any reason. Okay, so we're talking about material success that is evident but requires patience, attention. You know that certain efforts are successful and are fruitful, but not many, if any, of those fruits are actually ripe to be harvested just yet. And with the Seven of Pentacles upright, uh, a lot of times... You, the, the stretch of work that you have left to do is not actually that strenuous. The hardest part of the work really may be over. For some. For some. But whether it is still hard work or uh, just just mostly patience that's required of you at this time. The strength card shows up, possibly possibly carry, carrying Leo energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, with it. There's the Father of Wands again. I'm getting that it may be talking about Leo season actually, uh, which isn't too far off now. We are almost in Pisces season. I hope you have all been making the most of the year, um, making the most of the month, and do continue to. One more card for the top of this spread, okay? Two of Cups sort of telling us what it's all about, and the Death card as an additional message on the bottom of the deck. I didn't, it didn't even mean to put that top card there for us. It's just another card just wanted to come out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm getting that this is Leo season. We might be talking about for a lot of you uh, when you might see the, the efforts pay off when it's maybe time to finally harvest the fruit or the rest of it. It's stemming from in the past 
a physical opportunity that you decided to water. You decided to take a job, take an assignment, a position. Start something new or accept some type of offer that would build health and or wealth for you eventually. I'm really sensing and feeling that you believed in this. Uh, it may have for a lot of you, you may have a Leo energy on the table beyond just Leo season. Um, someone who, who can offer you aid and or advice connected to what we're talking about for you, this work, this um, building, this, this success, um, slow building success. Um, but e even if not, either way, you know, with the, the father of, of fire, the father of wands on the table as well, um, you know, this opportunity and this, this slow build, this success may have required and asked uh, of you that you um, be somewhat of an entrepreneur, embody an entrepreneur spirit. And with it in the advice position there, maybe that is what is required to build this success even more you know it may be, it may be a message of if you're wanting to ripen this fruit more of it and maybe even quicker as well in a larger way certainly in a larger way um, then that might be what is required of you maybe you sense that 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 this might ask that of you before and and you're really you're really going to move into it more now. Someone's someone's really going to move into it, it more now. Um, but I do see I do see messages of partnership as well. You know, of course, we also do have Valentine's Day around the corner. That's about a week away still. Um, the two of the two of cups and the lovers card on the table. So a, a bond, a partnership is what this is all about. So again, it could be specifically a Leo energy for a lot of you, but you're also crossed with the mother of swords. Um, and in the outcome, you have the mother of cups. The outcome, the future of this situation, um, as far as the path that you're on now. Interesting. So we might grab an additional message for the Mother of Swords as well, but I'm really sensing that uh, someone's someone has options here. I think someone has options here. You know, what you're working on the revisions you're trying to make to it, you're reevaluating at this time. Um, and the revisions that you're considering or trying to make to it, um, in the stage that this work is in, um, I think I think because I think we're talking about talking about because you're in that stage of reevaluation and revision um, and, and, and evaluating again, maybe probably again, how long it's taking uh, to get really rewarded for your efforts in the way that you, you hope to uh, eventually. Um, That's what you pictured and envisioned when you began watering this seed, when you began taking this project on to begin with. 
it's uh, the, the, there was this um, some somewhat specific vision, you know, of where that was headed, and you're still waiting for that. But but because you're in that this stage of of reevaluation and revision of, uh, I think that's why we see the strength card here. It's th this version of the strength card is telling me that you, you're working on something that it's in a stage where it's very delicate. It seems like it's requiring a lot of focus from you. It's in a delicate stage. You're wanting it to build something that lasts. And it feels like a, a pivotal stage probably for you. It requires that you, you focus there and, and not on anything that might distract you. And you, you know, you may need help. This may be something you just cannot build alone. It might be something you never wanted to build alone, honestly. But it, it, I think, but I do think that for some of you, you tried and you're finding that, you know, you're going, going into partnership here. This is sounding like, sounding like one of the, the, um, readings I just recently did. I did just recently do a pick a deck, choose a deck, uh, reading that, um, this, I think that that was it. It sounds like one of the, one of the deck choices almost, but I think you're going to find that you, you need this partnership where you're becoming aware of it. And I think you have choices back to that with the lover's card there, just above the mother of swords, the mother of cups. And then like, we just kept talking about the strength card can be a Leo energy. So you may have choices and partner, um, A couple few different people at least are eager to help you with this and it's not coming through as like a brand new start again revamping revising something is being reborn it's time for this project to shed this work to shed a, a, an old skin uh, in order to move forward forward now and that can be a very delicate task. It can hurt. The snake usually does want to do it by itself. Doesn't feel like it wants help, although uh, they they are then you know often grateful and. It, while, while um, the fact that it can be, could be painful if rushed, if forced, um, is the very reason that that's a task one likes to keep to oneself at the same time. Um, sometimes they're very grateful for the help and sometimes without it, that could be the reason that it gets caught on something and ultimately is unnecessarily painful. Um, I think that is, that's very fitting. Um, and I think first for, before any, any other options, and I'm not saying that, it, that you can't have more than one person helping you, but I think the first option is someone quite severe, someone quite keen, someone who seems to see right through you, the position you're in, um, maybe exactly, maybe knowing exactly what it is that you need, um, And someone who is ready to slice away all of the extra fat in your life, in your routine, in order to, um, and maybe relationships that don't fit for you, in order to um, make sure you are uh, able to provide and, and dedicate that delicate, gentle focus 
that we're seeing and talking about, uh, for example, but, uh, you know, someone who's, you know, very, very sure, and I don't think that they're necessarily wrong of what this work needs to be rejuvenated, to be revitalized, um, to grow. And again, you may, you may need more than one person's help, but you also, options kept coming through. So you also may just be looking at options and ultimately, you know, that person seems to be kind of with you now for a lot of you. That person's like sort of already come through, may even be a part of you that's being too harsh. You know, you do, you do see the, the undeniable truth about you know what what maybe your profits are or, or how much you're making working somewhere for example but you know how much growth you've been able to attain from the energy you know you've put in to to some something that's been work for you and is worth reevaluating but needs reevaluating and revamped um, and that could be one of your options is to choose to just keep working with yourself. But whether that's you or someone else, someone else has a very stern, realistic, logical, but almost cold and harsh, um, probably quite biting in their delivery of their assessment um, view and approach of and to what you have going on here. So there, you know, there's for a lot of you that just could absolutely be you, your sort of manager and um, organizer in your mind, assessing the facts and really not taking your emotions into account, how, how cold it or harsh it could sound to even you to belittle all of your 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 work dwindle all of your blood, sweat, and tears down to unsatisfying numbers rather than experience gained, connections made, lessons learned. But I think the partner that someone here is advised to take is... Either that mother of cups in the in the future position, or if there's a Leo energy, especially if there's a masculine Leo energy, maybe someone who has the vibe of a family man, um, you know, there for those who who are his family. Um, yeah, we'll get one. Additional message on the lover's card, as it turns out, from the Shadowscapes Tarot, the Empress. Okay, so actually a uh, divine feminine um, energy is coming through. And also the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck is telling me uh, that, you know, this is your decision for now. It's, it's, it's a decision you need to make. It's a, it's a crossroads that you're at. It's, it's your choice. You get to use your free will to make this choice, but it needs to be made because that's only for now. Eventually, the, the choice will be taken out of your hands. Um, so it could be a Leo energy. Um, it could be a Leo energy. But uh, now with the Empress here as an additional message, I'm actually getting that it is... Um, a mature, it could also be a mature, divine, feminine energy as well. Yeah, you know, just different messages are coming through. So, you know, it's for, it's for um, the collective, right? So, it could be a Leo energy. It could be that mature divine feminine energy. It can be this, um, 
mother of cups energy, someone who feels their way through this situation, maybe life in general, uh, might be very artistic, but is certainly very emotional in touch with their emotions, uh, maybe very empathetic, um, maybe someone that you identify uh, as, a, as a mystic. Um, or, or who, you know, embodies those, those types of traits could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Um, and, and, and someone could certainly be all of those things, a divine feminine energy, um, a Leo a and also have Pisces, can Cancer or Scorpio energy in their chart. Right. Uh, I think this is the individual, someone softer though, than, than this severity that you're, you're met with probably just about presently. Uh, is, is actually the partner more for you or it could be the situation where you need both and whomever it is the empress could also be talking about the abundance that signing this contract so to speak really invites in again it's it's time to make the decision about signing it and about whom with and and multiple parties seem uh, multiple parties don't seem like um, a bad thing or, or like there would be anything wrong with that if that is an option but it does need to be made quickly we have the eight of of Oh, I'm sorry about the focus, the eight of <laughs> focus, focus, eight of uh, fire here as well. Um, and and I think it, with if you do have options, I think there is one that um, isn't really sure what they have to offer. Um, might be making promises to you that they can't keep. So there's reason for assessment here. Um, and even if all of these energies are options for you of, of, of partners, I think you're meant to um, to step more into an entrepreneur entrepreneur's energy for yourself for this work. That mindset, whether because you are trying to at attract the attention of one or trying to do that type of of work yourself. Um, either way, networking. is vital to this growth, to the abundance that a partnership will invite in. And I think it's a Scorpio. I think it's a Scorpio, but I think there is also someone who's willing to trick you. So there, there's, there's, there seem to be multiple choices of partner and, and multiple partners would be fine. But if contracts allow for that, and, and I'm not really saying that in terms of thinking about a romantic relationship, obviously, if everyone's on board, um, but I just, you know, I'm really been thinking about this in terms of these pentacles, finances, resources, etc. You may be viewing your relationships like that, you know, but that's, you know, you let it resonate how it does. I think it's a Scorpio that is the right, the right partner. A Scorpio, Scorpio energy is likely. But whether it's Scorpio, Leo, divine feminine, I, I just think it's this, it's, it's a, it's a softer, more, uh, carrying energy. Maybe they have a little bit more bedside manner and I'm not sure why it's coming through that way, but I think you, you know what I mean? Um, you want honesty, you want truth. And that's why I keep thinking you might need both. Um, but, uh, You definitely, you definitely also want to be well, it might be one of those situations where even if this is someone else, the mother of swords, you, you still are hard enough on yourself. 
And so you don't need another energy like that. Maybe that is this, this, um, maybe that is an option is someone else who, who's also sees the truth of what's going on, but just leaves it. So the project and you have too, you know, too many energies being hard on you and no one saying that's okay. You'll try again tomorrow <laughs> or, or, um, or, you know, even, hey, I know you're upset that uh, the attempt that you made at this or that didn't go, didn't go how we hoped, but um, actually maybe isn't a failure if you look at it this way, because, I mean, we, we kind of had to go through that or we never would have known to make this or that adjustment. So, you know, thank you for, for going through that for us. I mean, it's just as necessary and I'm not in it. We could totally just be talking about the energies you need to have in yourself, how you need to be talking to yourself and how you need to be talking to this that you hope grows this project, this work, just like a garden, just like you would talk to plants and flowers to help them grow. Um, the, but this is, you know, the attitude is what I mean, really, that you need to be maybe meeting it with. And these we're talking about energies within you. Sure. Sure. Um, but I still think that there's an energy here trying to undermine you. And it could be your uh, questioning your own self-worth. Um, either, you know, being a workaholic about this and, and going too hard and, 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 and doing too much. Or vice versa, getting a little frustrated with how long it's taking and allowing other um, addictions um, to, to distract you, right? Um, yeah, I see, I see, again, so multiple messages, but it could be, it could be either it could be both you could oscillate but you know there's a there's a, there is an energy here trying to sort of undermine your efforts so even if it is all within you that's what i see coming through um i don't think that that energy is winning by any means um but it's 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 just there um it's it feels like it's it's doubt um or only invited in because because of a lot of doubt Doubt, 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 doubt. Um, when really this is about, you know, in part centering around success, about in part about success. But a snake is not, is certainly not unsuccessful because it needs to shed its skin. It's not, certainly not less alive once it's, it sheds that skin, right? And this is the same way as that. I just do think you need a more nurturing energy present. Uh, maybe that has to be who you partner with. Maybe that has to be someone else. I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm, I've, been, I've been trying to spit this out. I'm circling around it. It's like you need someone, you need to be partnering with someone who is a friend to you and what you're trying to build. And it seems, it sounds like, it logically seems like it could sound wrong. Like, no, building this is is facts and bricks and, and, and borders and structure. And you need to be thinking outside of those things. So I'm not saying that the mother of swords energy is wrong, whether that's in you or someone else who's looking to help, but in a very matter of fact, logical way that this project, this growth, um, and especially expediting it is just asking for, for, for something different at this time, at least, you know, a nurturing energy, again, something softer, something that's more willing to, um, let go, think outside the box, ask for help, uh, when necessary, even, um, receive, um, 
for a lot of you, that's, that's a big issue. And, and so that's why this, you know, this partner just it needs to be somebody who is wanting to be a friend to both you and what you're trying to grow. And it's not because you just need a friend or anything like that. It's, it's because that that's what, that's what the growth is requiring. That's the type of nurturing that it needs, at least at this time. And you have done so much, I think, on your own. I do think for most of you, it's that you've tried to do way too much on your own. So choose a partner. Choose an energy, at least, to partner with. If nothing other than, you know calling in and asking for assistance and receiving that type of energy in yourself, in your own soul, psyche, mind, heart, so that you can water this growth with it. So uh, with that, I am sending you so much love and thank you for listening, liking, donating, all of those good things. I will be back for another tarot session just as soon as I can be. Um, Actually, tomorrow, we're going to do these nightly. I have not done a lunar pool for the collective in so long. I don't know how long it's been. It's been too long. Um, months. It's been months. And I'm so glad to be back to it. And I want to just do them every day. I'll do them, but I'll, you know, nightly in the evenings. So we'll be back tomorrow. Um looking at uh, tomorrow afternoon, evening, looking at post-Mercury retrograde conjunct sun energy, I guess. And um, yeah, go on from there. So uh, thank you again. And with that, bye loves.